Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial for every style of whip and scrub and MX bikes. I throw a lot of info at you here, so feel free to pause or rewind the video to get every little detail you need. Also, as a reminder, we are less than 150 subs away from that crispy 1000. So if you enjoy the content, please smack that subscribe button and let's jump right into the video. This is probably the most asked about and most difficult style of whip in MX bikes. The oppo requires a jump that you can carry a ton of speed into and then is really steep because compressing the suspension is the most important thing to get that look and feel that you're all looking for. It's important for me to know as you guys watch my controller overlay here in a second that I use a paddle to sit and stand. So when you see down on the d-pad being clicked, that's what it is. The key to getting a good oppo is getting the front end of the bike as straight up in the air as possible. I think the best way to do this is focus on pulling back on both your joysticks first rather than initiating any rider lean up the face of the jump. As I approach the jump, I want to be in a standing position and as soon as I hit the base of the jump where the bike will G out, I want to sit to help squat the bike and compress the suspension as much as possible. At this time, I'll also begin leaning back with the right stick, which is my rider lean. When I get to the top of the jump, while continuing to pull back, I will stand up. This will help the suspension pop out of its compression and lift the front end more vertical. As the bike gets into the air, I rotate both of my joysticks to the left, and since the bike is already almost vertical, I can start leaning forward pretty quick with my right joystick. The bike should come around if you hold the joysticks in this position and the throttle wide open. Towards the end of the whip, you, I can see that I over-rotated a bit, so I counter lean back to the right with both my sticks to help that. Also, right before I land, I I sit because sometimes getting that extra compression uh, into the bike will help it not slide out or loop out or whatever. For the traditional scrub, I find it helps if you can find a lip that isn't super steep but is steep enough that will pop you high if you don't scrub it. I think this table in the back of Washington is a good one to practice on. I like to approach the lip at an opposing angle to the direction I'm going to scrub because it's super important to initiate the lean really early on going up the face of the jump. And sometimes you can scrub yourself right off the side of the track if you aren't careful. But as you can see here, about midway up the face of the jump in a seated position, I start to lean to the left with both my left and right joystick. As soon as my front tire leaves the top of the lip, I snap both sticks back to the right as fast as possible and I hold them there for the entire duration of the jump until right before I land. Because I knew I was going to drag pegs over the lip, I anticipated I would be a bit nose down, so I grabbed a handful of throttle to help keep my front end up. Now hear me out, there are tons of different variations of the old school traditional whip. But this is my favorite, so I'll share it with you. My style of traditional whip is an all standing whip. We don't sit down at all. It looks really good in game and it feels really floaty and fun. For the traditional style of whip, I like to find another fast jump with a big steep lip, almost like the lip we'd use for an oppo. As I approach the base of the jump, I lean forward with my right stick to compress the forks again. And then as I'm going up the face of the jump, I rotate both of my sticks to the left and hold them there until I've been in the air for like 10 or 15 feet. And then I let go of my rider lean stick while keeping my steering stick pinned to the left. This helps the back of the bike come up and around. As I start to complete the rotation, I also use my rider lean stick to lean forward, which helps kind of offset the rotation. As you can see, I over rotated a bit, so I needed to counter steer and lean back to the right for a second to get the bike to land as straight as possible. This style takes a little bit of practice to get the timing right, but guys, it's totally worth the effort to get it down. It's probably my favorite style of whip right next to the oppo. You ever see this clip of James Stewart and just wish you could recreate it in MX bikes? Well, today I got you. For this specific J7 recreation scrub, it's really important to find a jump that is rounded off at the top without a traditional lip on it. The same jump from the iconic J7 clip is the best jump to practice this on in my opinion. This style of jump is a bit different than the traditional style because the jump is so rounded, it's important to get the bike as far over as possible without clipping your body so you don't crash. But it's also important to try to get the bike as horizontal as possible to try and get that exact recreation of the clip. I achieved this by starting my scrub early on up the face of the jump and using my left joystick to turn right while simultaneously pushing my right joystick all the way to the left. So basically you're pushing your joysticks towards each other. I find this style of scrub sends you pretty nose down. So as you can see here by standing and holding the throttle wide open, I can keep the nose just high enough not to crash. Also, some of you may have noticed that right before I land, I actually lean forward quite a bit. This was because my bars are turned and getting that extra weight on the front end helps me not to crash if the bars are turned. 
first I'd like to say that I'm not the best at turndowns, but here's my take on them. I don't think you really need anything specific or anything special with a jump other than just a good lift and some speed. As I approach the lip in a seated position, you can see I lean forward with my rider lean to help compress the forks. I then lean both of my joysticks to the right, almost like I'm scrubbing. Then as the front tire leaves the face of the jump, I will basically let go of both sticks and hold the throttle wide open. This will help the bike and rider look a little bit more floaty instead of like a forced arcadey look of a game. Right before I land, I steer back to the right with my left stick to help bring the bike around and lean forward with my right stick, which also helps spin the bike around a little bit quicker. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple and easy, especially with some practice, you can do it.